Due to the non-face-to-face -face or contactless era triggered by COVID-19, consumers are now gradually getting used to their new non-face-to-face -face daily lives, and it has been confirmed that companies gain business opportunities through contactless methods and generate profits. The flow of digital transformation, which has been further accelerated through COVID-19, is now irresistible. In particular, the Korean society, which is considered to be a superpower on the internet, has relatively less resistance to daily life and business through the non-face-to-face methods. To this end, the non-face-to-face -face leading service project, which focuses on upgrading services and overseas expansion for digital companies in the contactless service sector, aims to realize an inclusive digital society creating a safer and more pleasant base of life, proposed by the Korean government. In order to proactively respond to the non-face-to-face -face transformation after COVID-19, it supports the demonstration and spread of the non-face-to-face -face service models in areas close to daily life, which is the second time since last year. This year, a total of 17 tasks, including 8 fields and 6 free tasks, will be selected as unmanned stores, non-face-to-face -face collaboration, non-face-to-face -face shopping, home training, remote education and evaluation, autonomous mobility casks, AR glasses, and global promotion marketing. For these selected pilot projects, the Ministry of Science and ICT and the Information and Communication Industry Promotion Agency will support the development, business operation, task performance and quality management, overseas expansion, UI consulting, feasibility analysis and investment. Marketon is a technology company that is leading the way in the holographic display industry. In the display paradigm shift from high-definition to immersive displays, holograms are a cutting-edge technology capable of representing more natural immersive images than AR or VR. While holograms were only visible in the dark in the past, Marketon's holograms can be seen clearly in bright environments as well as under direct sunlight. Therefore, commercialization is possible. In the future, this company will be able to apply their new technology to various fields such as metaverse, medical displays, and car seat control holograms. In this boundless industry, Marketon is confident to call itself an industry leader. Although 12 years have passed since the birth of IoT devices and smartphones, issue tracker tools born in the PC era are still being used in the market, so it takes a lot of repetitive labor to register app issues such as IoT devices and smartphones. Accordingly, the service was developed based on the time-consuming improvement needs of the Q&A process required for app development by app developers around the world. In the past, after discovering an app error, it takes a lot of time and labor to reproduce hundreds of errors to film the corresponding video, and in the case of errors that are difficult to reproduce, all employees hang for two to three days. In addition to this, a lot of communication and labor costs are required to explain the corresponding point of the video after filming. The company developed the app Screen Log Real-Time Recording SDK with the first technology in Korea, which reduces the labor of bug reproduction video shooting log collection process by more than 90%. The development of Meta Auto Park is based on the common interests of cars, providing a virtual service space that combines various entertainment elements and e-commerce in a non-face-to-face -face environment and the MZ generation, non-face-to-face -face service environment, 5G communication network, and improved device performance. Meta Auto Park is a non-face-to-face -face leading service in the life-friendly field, building a non-face-to-face -face B2B2C market service in the automobile and related products service areas and presents a new non-face-to-face -face environment service model using metaverse-based and 3D or VR content iPixel uses AI computer vision recognition technology to recognize 1500 movements, train AI, and keep them as a database. Through these technologies and databases, they are developing and servicing home fitness services HowFit and Exercite, and HowFit recorded more than 500,000 downloads, and it was awarded Best App in Development field. 
In addition, the company is preparing to expand to digital healthcare and rehabilitation exercise services through the Exercise service being developed for global services. Also, the company's technology is on-device AI, and it has the advantage of not sending customer images or sensitive personal information to the cloud server. Therefore, it can be applied to services such as home fitness service and rehabilitation exercise without personal information issues. In addition, the company has applied for technologies such as real-time posture motion recognition system and recognition method using artificial intelligence and client terminal for performing hybrid machine vision and method thereof with Korean and US patent agencies. UFIT offers interactive remote assessment solution with lecture support and anti-cheating system. Using a digital pen and dot pattern, you can easily print out existing textbooks in the teacher's office without having to connect to complex digital devices to produce teaching tools that can be used in ICT multimedia classes. Also, it is very cheap, priced fifth less compared to conventional TV-type electronic blackboards, and it has no sensor. In addition, if students also have a digital pen, it is an interactive multimedia learning tool that allows them to conveniently share and store their written content digitally. Prior to this project, the company has developed and sold various products related to the elderly and the disabled. For instance, dementia training programs, standing assistance systems, educational kiosks for the elderly, and so on. Compared to the existing product, this one is equipped with a gaze adaptive display for the wheelchair disabled people through these three features. Robots autonomous driving function, face detection algorithm, and trackball input device that has increased convenience of using the disabled and the elderly. Finally, it is a mobility kiosk that can be trained so there is no burden when using the actual kiosk by installing various contents of nine types of socially disadvantaged keeper services using AI image analysis technology. As social solidarity is weakening due to population cliffs, aging, single-person households, and the spread of the non-face-to-face -face culture initiated by the pandemic, JCFT Technology is confident that if we create a link between digital relationships, care, and interest, and protection between countries and individuals, we can feel ourselves. In order to alleviate these problems, the company used the most advanced technology and started the product development. Using radar technology, sensors that measure biosignals such as breathing, heart rate, and movement in a contactless manner, monitor health conditions and sleep quality, self-determine emergencies such as falls, solitude, cardiac arrest, and shortness of breath, and automatically send emergency alarms to a user-designated guardian or associated organization. In the first half of 2023, AI-based monitoring engines will be further strengthened to provide full-fledged subscription services through the non-face-to-face -face healthcare solutions. Due to the absence of visually impaired specialized smartphones, people give up using them or use only part of the features using voice control technology. This brought a change in the use of smartphones, but voice control still has limited functionality and people have speak their private information out loud. To solve these limitations, SM Planet developed a smartphone solution for visually impaired people. Their solution provides UI optimized for the visually impaired, allowing them to send text messages without any help and to freely use all of the functions of the phone, such as online news and shopping. The company strives to make visually impaired people more independent and socially included. After installing the solution, attaching a tactile sheet to the screen allows the users to touch the dots and control all of the functions of the smartphone without a software keypad. To optimize the contents with complex images of a smartphone, all images and icons are automatically converted into text. Extracted from data to discard unnecessary advertisements and subjects, only essentials are shown to the users. All contents are arranged vertically so that smartphone control can be managed with up and down button. 
For those who are familiar with flip phones, the company optimized accessibility, controlling applications through a numeric keypad. The InfoCar app receives vehicle information from the InfoCar smart scanner and shows it to the driver. Vehicle self-diagnosis is divided into four steps, allowing you to check and delete vehicle fault codes and check over 600 standard data as well as data that vehicle manufacturers customized. You can also check the data whenever you want by automatically saving the driving record for each trip. In addition, you can manage a vehicle with one InfoCar app by using functions such as driving score, fuel efficiency check, car account book, and vehicle consumables management. The InfoCar smart scanner communicates with the vehicle's ECU so that the driver can check the vehicle's information through the InfoCar app. Unlike heavy and expensive scanners at repair shops, it is light and affordable and it can be easily mounted on the OBD2 terminal of the vehicle without any assistance from professionals. The Light Vision service aims to provide an educational environment in which the visually impaired can communicate together through chat and learning material sharing functions as a non-face-to-face -face online education service for the blind through the AI point-to-point -point engine with sentence conversion technology. The existing point-to-point -point technology helped blind people's writing life using computers, but in the process of computerizing and converting Braille rules, errors often occur. In order to minimize these errors, simple conversion between letters is not enough, but a technique that must be properly converted according to the context is needed. To solve this problem, we can secure a database of Korean, English languages, science, and mathematics textbooks that the visually impaired learn in the secondary curriculum and develop and apply point-to-point -point engine through AI learning in sentences to actively participate in classes. Runner's High Company developed a metaverse-based education platform to meet the recent demand in the education industry. In collaboration with companies that provide various online education services, they provide related platforms to consumers who want to convert education services based on the web and app to Metaverse, helping to convert each institution's services to Metaverse. First of all, it provides digital humans so that students can receive guidance and learn and be motivated more efficiently than traditional online methods. Second, real-time class functions are provided in both directions of participation in the platform so that classes based on participation activities can be conducted. Based on the Membership Management Program, GPT Customer Management Platform, a service that analyzes and cares for lifestyle data such as exercise, in-body and eating habits, provides an artificial intelligence-based personalized service that provides membership management, website online reservation, facility use and rental management, program payment management, entrance-gate video content management and SMS notification service. In addition, built-in home training equipment will be developed to demonstrate exercise effects and provide a systematic exercise method, number, and rating of the built-in home training through analysis. As you can see, South Korean companies play a big role in developing new technologies in the eyes of the contactless era and related life changes. These government-backed projects can help adapt more and more people in this non-face-to-face -face era and help them feel more socially inclusive. Which is your favorite project mentioned in this video? Tell me in the comment section down below. Also, please like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.